تسليم على سيدنا محمد وعلى اله واصحابه اجمعين، اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا علما وعملا متقبلا يا رحم الراحمين. We learned we learned six golden rules of memorizing the Quran. Six golden rules. Remember the first one B. Who remember? First one B. 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 Sincere. Remember that? Be sincere. Sincerity. If you don't have sincerity in any of your actions, it will go in vain. Everything you do, everything you say, you have to do it for the sake of Allah, to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you come like two years, you keep coming to the masjid to memorize just because your parents want you and you don't want, you don't do it for the sake of Allah, you don't want it to, you don't do it to seek the, the Jannah, you're not gonna get anything. So be sincere. That's the first golden rule of memorizing the Quran. You have to be sincere. Do it for the sake of Allah. Do it to get the pleasure of Allah and the rewards from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, right? If you have sincerity, that will help you to keep memorizing. That will help you to defeat shaitan because shaitan keeps coming to you. Ah, oh, it's difficult. Oh, I understand. don't understand what I'm reading. Oh, it will keep coming to you with different excuses. Oh, I'm tired. Oh, I have homework, right? It will push you. But when you have sincerity, you do it for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You don't care. You keep working and working. Be sincere. Second one, who remember? I'm going to give a prize to the one who knows. Be, be dutiful Excellent. Be dutiful to parents. Respectful to teachers. And kind with all those around you. Why? Who remember why this is important? Because if you have problems with others, you will not focus. But if you have good relations with others, particularly your parents and teachers and friends, you will, you will have tranquility, so that will help you focus more and memorize more, right? But if you fought with someone, you will be sitting here and you keep, oh, I'm gonna show him, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat him, I'm gonna do this, right? You keep confused, right? But when you have good relations with others, you're focused on your hippo. That's the, that was the third one. Who can remember the second one? Be, be excellent, be pious, be pious. So. Be pious means obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's commands. When you obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's commands, that will help you to memorize because your heart will be pure and clean. So be sincere, be pious, be dutiful to parents, respectful to teachers, kind to those around you, to all those around you. Number four, be, be very important thing in all of your life. Be patient. Be patient. If you have no patience, you're not gonna memorize. You need patience, you need to sit and repeat the ayah one and two and three and 15 times minimum every ayah, right? 15 times minimum. This needs patience, right? Because shaitan comes and just wants to push you away. But you have to have, show patience, keep doing it, keep doing it. That was number four. Number five, dua and supplication to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Who controls your memory? Huh? Allah. Allah can help you have a great memory, right? Allah can help you to memorize fast and to keep your memorization, right? To keep your hafad in your head. So, number five, dua. Number six, we said the first practical step is do it right from the beginning. Do it right from the beginning. What does that mean? Now I want to memorize. I hold the mushaf and I start reading and memorizing. No, that is wrong way. You have, you have to get it from the sheikh. You have to see how the sheikh is reading and copy him. Then you start repeating 15 times. If you, if you cannot sit with the sheikh and memorize it, at least you have to watch the sheikh. Watch and look at the sheikh, how he is reading. Then you pause the video and you do five times. Then you play the video again or that part or that eye again. Then you do 10 times. That's minimum 15 times. You do second ayah, same thing. Then you connect them together 15 times. You connect them together 15 times. The first ayah and second ayah. Okay? Okay. So that is rule number six. Now, four more rules before we go. Four more rules. Rule number seven. Rule number seven. Specify, specify a specific number of lines every day. A specific number of lines every day. Say, every day I'm going to do like three lines. I'm not going to sleep until I do those three lines. No matter what, I'm going to do them. I do like one line in the morning, one line in the afternoon, one line in the evening. And when you do that line, read it in your salah. Read it to your 
uh, clearance. Read it. Okay? Three lines. You, you make it a challenge. You don't make less. Because I'm going to do every day three lines. Even Friday, Saturday, Sunday, every day three lines. All of my, all of my, all of the school time. After school time, every day until I finish memorizing. Then I'm going to increase. So this is rule number seven. Specify a specific number of lines to do every day. And don't compromise it. I have basketball, I have friends, we are going somewhere, we have guests, whatever. Whatever, don't compromise. If you do it this way, inshallah, you will finish. You will finish soon. But if you, one day you do one line, another day you do half a line, and next day you do three lines, then someone, someone is visiting. Someone, there is a guest. Someone, I don't know what, and you skip and you skip. Then maybe until the day of judgment you need to memorize. Maybe you need until the day of judgment to finish memorizing the Quran. Right? It will take you ages. So you have to stick to a limited number of time of, of lines. Then with the teachers, with the help of the teachers, then they can increase it for you bit by bit. So that was rule number seven. Rule number eight is you don't move from one ayah to the next ayah, unless you master it. And this is some of you guys, they just go to the nearest, they go to the new and still they did not master their old. First you have to master the old review. First you have to master the ayah you're doing before you move to the next ayah. And wallahi, guys we memorize the Quran. My wife and myself and my brother, we all memorize the Quran. We know these tricks of shaitan. We know them. You know what he makes you to do? You just learn an ayah. You don't master it, he just wants you to move. Just move, move, move. You feel you, you feel this or no? You just want to move more, more. And still you did not even master that ayah you're doing. So master the ayah, then move to the next. Master the surah, then move to the next surah. Master the juz, then you move to the next juz. That was rule number eight. Rule number nine, very helpful. Very, very, very helpful rule. Stick to the same copy of the Quran. Stick to the same copy of the Quran. Don't memorize now from this copy. Tomorrow from another copy. After tomorrow from the phone. Another. You can still memorize this way, but you know what? You are losing one of the one of the advantages of using the same copy. Why the same copy? Because you keep looking at this picture, this picture, this picture. What happens? Your brain is taking pictures. Taking pictures always whenever you look at it. So that will help you to memorize much, much more, much better. Even you will know, you will know where the ayah is. You will know this word is at the end of the line or at the end of the page, right or no? And so stick to one copy of the Quran and make it a big copy. Don't memorize from a small copy. Also, that is not good. That will not help you a lot. This copy is excellent. It's big, the words are big, and you hold the mushaf like this. Not like this. No, like this, because you take pictures like this. Right? That will that will help you so much to so stick to the same copy of the Quran. Finally, number 10. Finally, is try at least just read the translation of the of the meanings of the verses you're memorizing. You know why? That will that will encourage you. Like I'm reading now about Sayyidina Nuh. I'm reading about Sayyidina Salih, I'm reading about the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, I'm reading about fasting, I'm reading about Salah, I'm reading about... Just let your parents or ask a trustworthy teacher about a translation, for, ex for example Yusuf Ali's translation, so that you read the meanings before. It doesn't take like one minute, one minute. Like you're memorizing two lines, just read the translation of those two lines. Just read them so that you get an idea that will inshallah encourage you to memorize. These are 10 golden rules we have covered, we have reviewed them, and we have learned new rules. Finally, now we are coming to Ramadan, inshaAllah. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam, he combined between Siyam, fasting, and Quran in an amazing hadith I'm gonna finish with. He said, sallallahu alayhi wasallam. What do you say when you hear him, his name? Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. He said, fasting and Quran will intercede for the believer on the day of judgment. Fasting and Quran. Why? Because in fasting, 
you'll feel thirsty, right? And when you read the Quran and repeating, 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 also you feel thirsty. So fasting and Quran, both of them, they will intercede for you and help you on the day of judgment. So now don't quit in Ramadan. Don't quit. Keep working. Keep memorizing. If you reduce the amount a little bit, it's fine. But keep. Don't cut. Don't cut off. Don't stop memorizing. Ramadan is the month of Quran. Right or no? Allah says, شهر رمضان الذي منزل فيه القرآن. The month of Ramadan is the one in which the Quran was revealed. So you you quit reviewing the Quran in the month of the Quran. That doesn't make sense. So please keep memorizing, keep working, and inshallah Allah subhanahu wa taala will bless you and you will get. Remember, in Ramadan you get multiple multiple rewards. The rewards are multiplied many folds in Ramadan. The rewards are multiplied many times. And also remember the shayateen, the devils are shackled in Ramadan. They're in prison. So that will help you to, to work more and focus more and memorize more. Inshallah. So during uh, weekdays, you try to memorize as much as you can. And on Sundays, Inshallah, we will listen to you.